Welcome to our interview with our incoming students. Uh, we are excited to learn more about our newest member. First of all, where are you from and what made you studying abroad? Okay, hello, I'm Matthew. I'm from Singapore, from the National University of Singapore, NUS. And the reason why I come abroad is because I want to experience something new. And this is my first time ever in Europe. So it's an entirely new experience for me. And I'm just excited to be here, you know, talking and get, knowing new people, trying out new things, and also learning about the German culture in the process. So welcome to Germany. Oh, thank you, man. So how long have you been abroad and what are your first impressions of our country? I've been abroad since 1st of March, so it's roughly around two months already, coming closer to two months. And my first impressions is, it's a very nice place, very cold, but I, be, I guess <laughs> it's because it's winter. And um, I think it's, it's been very nice. Like, I like the environment, I like the nature around. I got chances to go to like, I think some of the, nash, the parks around uh, the city, which is amazing. And um, I think also like the food here is amazing also. Yeah. I love the meat here, it's, it's really good. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> um, how does studying in our country differ from studying in your home country? I think it's actually quite similar in terms of lectures, going for lectures, okay. you know, and you know how pe uh, going for tutorials and such. But I think the main difference is usually the content that is being taught. But in Singapore, it's m mostly uh, focused on software. Here, it's focused on hardware and production. Well, considering that Stuttgart is a very like production-based uh, city, where yes. there's like you know Mercedes Benz and Bosch. Uh, where it's like uh, factories and such. Porsche, you yeah, don't Porsche forget. Yeah, Porsche, Porsche Audi, in Stuttgart, but... Audi is <laughs> nearby Munich. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> it's this change of content kind of like threw me off a little bit yes. at the start. But it's been actually amazing listening to the experiences, especially from the professors who have worked in this type of industries before. And it's given me a new perspective uh, on like how to look at the world around us. Okay, so Matthew, how have you made new friends and how have you settled into the culture of your host country? Uh, okay, making new friends, it's been actually quite tough at the start because I guess it's like something that I didn't realize is that Germans tend to be a little bit introverted, they tend to be a bit shy when you're talking to someone new. So at the first week when I was here, I okay. literally did not talk to anyone. <laughs> I was just alone in the class, like sitting at the corner, just listening quietly. But I think uh, what made, uh, made the change is changing of my mindset. Like thinking, okay, I'm just gonna go up to people and say hi to them. And because of that change in mindset, I made a lot more new friends. And, um, and I got in much closer to them by, by, by trying to find common interests, especially soccer. Uh, sorry, football, you must say football. <laughs> yeah, which yes. is like a really uh, good way to talk to other people here. And even now, I even got invited to watch a soccer, a football match with, <laughs> uh, with, uh, with some of my friends. Oh, okay. Um, what German words do you have learned oh since you're here? Oh my god. Um, okay, I think the most important few are Dankeschön, like saying thank you. Bitteschön, which is saying welcome. And some kind of like a word that I learned around is called a Schadenfreunde. Which is the idea of like, you know, you're kind of laughing at other people's misfortune. Schadenfreunde. Yeah, yes. Schadenfreunde. Yeah. And then it's, it's actually very familiar, similar to a Chinese idiom called uh, Xin Zai Le Huo. Okay. Um, what would you recommend to other students who are thinking about studying abroad? I mean, just come in. <laughs> just come and enjoy yourselves here. It's an awesome experience and you are 100% sure that you won't regret it. Would you like to say something in your native language to the viewers from your country? Oh, okay. I think, yeah, I mean, it's, it's Singapore stressful, so please come here. It is actually <laughs> less stressful here. And, um, and anyone who comes over from Singapore, I assure you that you have a great time here. Oh, yeah. And I think for those who, for some of my friends, <laughs> so Matthew, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> so this was our incoming student for this semesters and... Don't forget to... Subscribe! subscribe.